Okay, hello everyone. So now let's look at our question 35. And we know after reading the question, we know A and B's GCD is 14 and A and C's LCM is 350. Also, B and C's LCM is also 350. So we need to find out the how many types of uh, A, B, C can we have. So after reading the question, we know we have three numbers, A, B, and C. And we can rewrite A, B, and C in this form. 2 times 7 times 5 to the x, and 2 times 7 to times 5 to the y, and 2 to the u times 7 to the v, and times 5 squared. So maybe you may be ask why, because yeah, 2 times four, 7 and A and B's GCD is just the 14. We need to keep A and B have both 2 times 7, right? Because 2 times 7 equals 2, 14. And also C, we know the LCM should be 350. So how can we keep the LCM be 350? We need to use 2U times 7V and times 5 square. So actually, so U and V can only have two numbers. One is 0 and the other guy is 1. So also V, 0 and 1. We can only have these two choice. And we keep this one 25 and this one is 14 because 14 times 25 equals to 350. We can keep the LCM B 350. Okay, so now let's look at how many choice can we define for X and Y. So we should keep the GCD greatest common divisor actually is three, uh, HCF highest common factor B 14. So this should be 14, which means at least at least x and y have one zero so maybe x can be zero so y can be zero one two right so about of course for y be zero so x can also be zero one two so in total we have five choice and for c we have zero one times two zero one times two so this is about the multiplication principle we need to use the uh, about the counting and the combination problem and we need to use that to solve this kind of question so the answer is just the uh, 5 times 2 times 2 equals to 20 so let's have a look at this question again we after reading the question we can see a and b hcf is 14 and a and c's relationship and uh, b and c's relationship so yeah, after that, we know the LCM and HCF. We can rewrite A, B, and C in this form, this form, and this form. So the last step is to compare how many choice for X, how many choice for Y, what's the relationship for X and Y. At, remember one thing, at least we, have, we should have one X. Uh, maybe the X should be zero or the Y be zero. Okay, here's the question.